Good afternoon, man gamers. Welcome to today's video, guys. And in this week's scheme of the week, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm probably going to be doing this on all of my future videos. It's going to give you an additional play breakdown, which I think is pretty good uh, for you guys. And it's also going to be able to allow you to kind of learn uh, some different concepts and things like that. But uh, one of the things that I think we leave out of a lot is the sixth set for success, and that being the. Uh, the red zone defense, okay, and, and, and trying to be able to stop a lot of different things that your opponent can do on the red zone. And from the 2 4 5 format, we obviously just did an offensive one, but uh, for the 2 4 5 formation, what I really like to use uh, as my red zone defense is this strong corner to roll, if I can find it here. There it is, the strong corner to fire. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to base a line. You want to pinch your defensive line. You want to crash your defensive line down. You then want to take this guy right here, this defensive end, Trevathan. You could throw him into a quarterback spy. Okay, and then you want to just, I like to pass him it personally. And here we're going to show you just kind of how it does uh, against generic things. You could throw Inatio into a flat as opposed to a yellow. Uh, but here you see you're going to get that right edge pressure delayed. What's interesting to note about this play is how good it's going to do uh, against the quick pass. Okay, So what we're going to do here, we're just going to try to throw simple flat route. We see the pressure coming in hot. We see we've got the flat defended. Okay, Now, what about what about like the tight end fades and the tight end zigs and things like that are, that are really popular in this year's game? Well, we also will probably, I mean, typically we do a good job against that. You see this Harris is in a deep blue zone. He doesn't need to be in a deep blue. So what you could do, you, another option that you could do is hook him and then take Lennon and hook him. And now you see how we have a cloud of yellow zones across the board here. Uh, obviously, you got the spy coming underneath. So really, I would just kind of use her more over the middle and kind of watch this right side. Um, and you'll see here, we watch this right side. We're right there on the fade, and there's two or three people in the way there uh, to stop. But obviously, you know, if I wasn't passing the ball, I could have clicked on and made a play, made a user play uh, to stop that out. But you see, I mean, just a lot of things you can do with this, but I love this play for this situation, and I think it's really powerful. I think it's a great play to use. And, I mean, here you see the, the right pressure. Uh, it's a little bit delayed, but it does a nice job at getting in, and uh, the coverage is really good. Let me quickly run over the setup one more time. Base a line, pinch your line, crash your line down. Quarterback spy Danny Trevathan here. Take this uh, slot corner Harris. You could throw him into a flat zone if you want to, or you could put him into a hook. Then, uh, And this is really good because it cycles left to right. Then you want to take Lennon, and he could even be your user control player, but I like to re-hook him. And then you could grab over to Inatio and kind of use her that, that right side if you want to kind of take away the, that side of the field and trust your cloud coverage to take away the left. So, But that's what I like to do out of this. One more time here, base a line. Crash your or pinch your line, crash your line down. Quarterback spy this guy right here, Trevathan. Hook zone Harris, hook zone Lennon, and then flat zone Inatio. And then if you want to, you should bring more over a little bit, and he'll kind of roll, play a roll to coverage. And you see that we get the nice little cloud coverage on the outside there uh, for some pretty good red zone defense, in my opinion. So check that out, guys. That's what I like to use when I'm backed up and in the red zone, and I need to play.